So in this video, we're going to be using Pythagoras to calculate the shorter side. We've already figured out how to do the hypotenuse. And the formula that we have is kind of set up to find the hypotenuse. It says the hypotenuse squared is equal to these things here. But in this question, I already know the hypotenuse. And the thing that I want to do is find the shorter side. So how can I do that? Well, I need to take this formula and I need to rearrange it a little bit. Because I don't want to find the longer side. I want to find one of the shorter sides. So... Let's do it. We have a formula, c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. And now I'm going to rearrange it to make a the subject, put a by itself. All right, so a way I'm going to do that is just leaving a there, so a squared stays, and then subtract b squared from both sides. Now if I subtract b squared from this side, b squared minus b squared, it's gone. Uh, on this side, I get c squared minus b squared. And that is our formula for finding the shorter side. And we can just write that formula up here. I'll just write it as a squared equals c squared minus b squared. And you can hold on to that. That's a great formula for finding a shorter side. Now that we've got a formula that is like that, we can just find the shorter side. So we know that a squared is equal to c squared minus b squared. Um, this is the shorter side that we're trying to find, so we'll say that that's a, so now we have x squared there. Our longer side is always the c value, so that's that one there, 10 squared. And one of our shorter sides that we know can be that one there, 8 squared. And so you can use your calculator here, 10 squared, 10 times 10 is 100, minus 8 squared, 8 times 8 is 64, and that's x squared equals 36. And we're finished. We're not finished. x squared is not what we're trying to find. We're trying to find x. So this is often the bit where students stop, don't stop, still more work to do. x is equal to the square root of 36. So x is equal to 6. And then I'm going to check here. I'm going to put that in there and ask myself, does that make sense? That's the longest side of 10. So 6 is smaller than 10, so that's good news. Uh, that's 8, and that's 6. Okay, that makes sense. That feels like it could be a triangle. All right, I think I'm pretty good there. All right, that's uh, calculating the shorter side. You can sort of remember this formula if you want to. Remember that that's the longest side. That's the hypotenuse. Um, or if you feel pretty comfortable, you can kind of rearrange your Pythagoras' for, um, formula uh, for the longest side, for the longest side, and for the shortest side. 